Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, you? I am doing great, very happy to see you, to listen to you. Okay, well, welcome to our last day of classes. Welcome to our finished day, our closing event. Okay, so we are ready to start. Today we're going to do a lot of things. We're going to practice a little bit on the reading that I assigned yesterday. Only Elizabeth sent me the reading. What happened with the rest? And we are going to check that. Uh, let me see. Okay. So we're going to check that everything is done and finished. Thank you for the ones who sent me yesterday the, the image to prove that uh, you have already finished with the platform. So that's very important. Okay, so let's start. I am going to ask you today, well, to start how your day was, what did you do today? How was your day today? Good, bad, so-so. Excellent, fantastic, amazing. How was your day? Me aquí, me siento muy sola con ustedes tres aquí. ¿Qué pasó? Hello. Now I have four or five. Very good. Rosario, hello, welcome. Mr. Maximo, Elizabeth, Juan, Maritza, welcome to the class. Let me open my presentation to start. Today. Bueno, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo se sienten? Nadie me contestó cuando les pregunté qué pasó. Ay, teacher, voy llegando. Hello. Hello, hello. Llegando, llegando. Llegando, llegando. Ok, so... There you go. Okay, so uh, welcome to our class number 16. This is the end of a journey, right? That we were working. It is important that you continue, right? I don't know if you already sent your documents for the next one. Ya enviaron sus documentos para la próxima entrega. Sí, no. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Because the last day, the last day to present is on the 14th, on Valentine's Day. That is the last day to present. So we need to have all the documents ready for that day. Okay. So all the documents should be ready for February 14. Okay. Hasta el 14 de febrero tienen para eh, enviar los documentos para su próxima inscripción. Así que no la dejen pasar, por favor. Okay. ¿Cuándo empezarán las siguientes clases, teacher? I think next Monday. I mean, from, they all, they always have like one week off. Siempre nos dejan como una semana entre grupo y grupo para que ustedes puedan hacer registro y todo. Así que igual ellos les van a estar avisando, pero no pasa más de, de una semana, semana y dillitas. Y que fíjese que yo pregunté, teacher, y me dijeron de que ya el lunes empezaba la otra, la otra clase. Oh, really? What? Yes. If it's like that, fantastic. Maybe your group is complete. Quizás ya el grupo ya todos presentaron documentación. Entonces, si es así, qué chico. <laughs> Qué chivísima. Ok. Welcome, Mr. Luis, Mr. Omar. Welcome to your class. Welcome, Iris. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. 
Okay, so today we're going to start by uh, working a little bit on the reading, then we're going to have the presentations, and then we're going to have some tips that are going to help you to work on your <coughs> English class, okay? So we're going to work, today is our class number 16. It's your day for the final class and your presentations, right? And just for you not to forget them, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need, Keep the cameras on all the time, mostly today that you have to present. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group and do your best effort in every class. Okay, very nice. So yesterday I shared this reading with you and you were working on it, okay? So, uh, we were practicing, I sent it to you, I sent you the audio for you to practice the different sections of the reading. And today we are going to practice the reading as a group. We are going to divide the reading into three different parts, right? We are going to divide it into different parts and we are going to read, we're going to take turns to read, okay? so. I am going to divide the first part up to on paper, then others, then it's going to be up to also, right? This is going to be the next part. And the last one is going to be from here to here. And let me see, it's going to be here. English speakers. <clears throat> Here we have the next one, and the last one is going to be up to here. Okay. These are going to be the divisions. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six students reading uh, the different parts of the reading. Here, I am going to make up a, a, a list here. This is going to be number one. Number one is going to stop here. Number two is going to stop here. Number three is going to stop here. Number four is going to stop here. And number five here. And number six is going to stop here. Okay, I am going to choose six different people from the class and we're going to read. We're going to read together, right? The first person that I am going to choose to read is Iris, right? Iris is going to start reading. And then we are going to have Mr. Luis. Then we are going to have Maximo. Then we are going to have Rosario. Then we are going to have Elizabeth. And then we are going to have Juan. Really, I have here the different people that are going to read. I have the first one is Iris. The second one is Luis. The second one, the third one is Maximo, Rosario, Elizabeth, and Juan. Okay, so let's start with the reading practice. We're going to start with that today. The first person reading is Iris. Go ahead. Learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most important is take a lot of practice. Many people spend time memory words out of both. Some even write words and sentences of paper. Thank you very much. Luis, continue. Okay. However, until you make the language useful to yourself, it will never become a part of you. Don't or those other things are okay as long as you are also spending time speaking the language and trying to communicate with others. Thank you very much. Maximo, continue. When you use the words at phrases, you've learned to communicate with others. The language becomes more natural for you to learn. Very good job. Rosario, continue. 
as you are a teacher. Oh, English speakers, and where you should you why? No, no, the language saying when it is up. Us, okay, it us says, interest. okay, it says, it says, also, you are able to hear now. To hear, sorry, how no. English speakers how English speak, yeah. answer you. Answer to, to, to so you yeah. will know. No. No. How the language How sounds the language sounds when it is when spoken. It is spoken. Very good. Let's continue. Other good other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of of is as you can be being spoken. Being being, being spoken. Being spoken. Be native English speakers. By by native English speakers, right? By native English speakers. Thank by, you. By native by native na native English speakers. Very good. Juan, finish the paragraph, please. <clears throat> uh -uh. <clears throat> Turn on the radio and sing along to songs in English or watch television shows that are spoken in English and try to follow along and understand what is going, what's going on in the story. The more, sorry, the more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner, that's correct. Sunday. Yeah, the sooner. Uh -huh. The sooner you can start effective communication with other speakers. With other English speakers, right? We need uh, to practice a little bit more, right? I send you the listening for you to check on the pronunciation. Words like radio, right? Radio, sing along, English, right? English, communicate, right? Communicate, uh, spend, memorizing, and words, words. Phrases, right? Phrases. And native, native, native. And television shows, television shows, right? Good, very good. It was a good practice, right? It was a good practice. I really encourage you to continue doing it. It is a very good way for you to practice English, right? When you read aloud. Leer en voz alta es una de las maneras que nos ayuda muchísimo a darnos cuenta que bien o que tan mal estamos hablando. Right? It is, it is, it's very helpful, right? Y si conseguimos lecturas que ya las podamos escuchar y después leerlas nosotros, nos ayudan también de gran manera. Ok, so let's move on business. We are going to work on the presentations. We are going to work on listening to each of you. And then we are going to uh, finish with some tips about English, right? To finish with the class. Okay, so anyone who wants to break the ice, presenting. No sé si alguien quiere romper el hielo. Presenting. I am going to take notes. So please don't feel uh, nervous or afraid or anything because the only thing that I want to do is to correct you later, ok? Si me ven tomando notas, si me ven que escribo y todo, no se aflijan porque es para corregirlo después, ok? No, la teacher todo me escribió, no. No, don't worry, ok? Because the idea is that I can check, correct, and then I can give you feedback, ok? So, I don't know who wants to be the first one or we decide. Chan, chan, chan. Maximo wants to be the first one. Okay, Maximo, go ahead. The stage is totally yours. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, all. Good evening. What Good did evening. you like? What did you like? All model was really good. All students were participating. These classes were very dynamic. What did you learn? 
I learned new topics. The best topic was, was the pyramid of food because I knew a lot of nouns for vegetable and a good food diet. What was the most difficult part? I feel that the most difficult part was the use of any and some because it's very confused. When you want to form a inter interrogative sentence, negative sentence and affirmative sentence. What are your expectations for the next model? My expectation for the new model is learn more about English language. Achieve a higher level in listening than, than the last model. Improve my reading and talking abilities about English language. Thank you for all, Teacher Nati. Thank you very much, Maximo. I really need to recognize that you are a very good student. You are very responsible. And the dedication that you have is going to help you a lot for you to learn, right? I have a couple of uh, corrections about pronunciation in the word dynamic, right? Dynamic. Uh, the food pyramid, you don't say the pyramid of food. It's the food pyramid and module right module, that's the pronunciation. And I know that you are going to achieve your goals. Congratulations, Maximo, very good job. Reactions for Maximo class, please. Thank you. Yay. Good, Maximo. Yay, there you go. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Ya vieron que no pasa nada, Maximo sigue vivo. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure. Luis, Luis, Luis. Luis, Luis wants to do it. Go ahead. Pues. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gracias, Máximo. Dale, dale. Okay. okay. There you go. Go All ahead. Right. <laughs> bueno, hello, everyone. Hello. I I want hello. to tell you that Ben, with you in this model, has been a very nice experience, and I have learned new things. Thanks to teacher Nati for being so excellent in parting and teaching use and explaining use so clearly. My favorite part is when we all participate in the dialogues and that means nice correct use when we do not pronounce a word correctly. And also when we allow at some funny event, it is a pleasure for me to have shared this course with you and with the teacher. You are great and I hope we surprise our dreams and achieve what we fight for. Me, that is my expectation for the next model. Learn it even more. He, thank you everyone. Thank you, Luis. Reactions for Mr. Luis, yay. Thank you, teacher. Yay. Thank you a todos. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, you say. Okay, pronunciation. You, pronunciation <laughs> things. Being, okay. being part of the module, right? Being, uh, yeah. ex experience, experience. Experience. I've learned. I've learned. Learn. I've, I have learned. I have learned. Exactly like that. Uh, okay. Explaining us so clearly. Explaining us so clearly. Yeah, you say us, not us, uh, right? It's us. us. Eh, us. Di dialogues. Dialogues. Dialogue. Pleasure. Dialogue. It was a pleasure. A pleasure. pleasure. A pleasure. And uh, I pleasure. like that you use the word surpass <laughs> or achieve. That's very good. Thank okay. you very much, Mr. Luis. You are an excellent Thank student. You. Continue with that <laughs> big, big, big uh, spirit of learning that you have. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, who's next? Author, author, author. The next one, the next one. Who's the next one? 
Chen, chen, chen. You see? Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth wants to do it. Okay, Maxim, very good. Very good. ¿Quién fue el de eso? <laughs> ¿Quién fue el de eso? <laughs> you see, it's the class. The class loves you. They want you to participate. <laughs> ¿Quién, Go ahead. Me, ¿quién, ¿Quién me tiró al agua? <laughs> eh, eh, Maximo, but then Iris is going to be the next one. Ellie oh, and then Iris. Oh. En el próximo módulo nos veremos. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Elizabeth. It's it is a great pleasure to be your partner. This day I will talk about my experience in this module. This module has been so much fun. I love the way of interaction in the exercises. I think it's a good way to learn. It is module I learn about the average of frequency, countable and uncountable nouns. I learn about do, do and does and does. <laughs> there about the names of the objects that are in the house the different occupations and abilities. But I must say that it, it is not all fun. The pronunciation is difficult for me. And not only that, I still have a hard time understanding when people speak English fast, uh, but I determined Learn, le learn. I had to improve in the following following models. This is my pres presentation. It is an honor to share it with you. I hope we reach the end together. Thank you. Yay, Elizabeth! Very good job. Very good job. Wow. Very nice, Elizabeth. You see, even when you say that pronunciation is difficult, you did it, right? That is the best way to learn, to face the challenges, right? Uh, pronunciation issues that we need to uh, work on. When you say it was so much fun, right? That was cool. Interacting, right? Interacting. Interacting. Thus, and you made the correction, right? You were the, the one making the correction. Pronunciation, pronunciation, mm -hmm. and I'm determined, I'm determined to continue, right? I'm determined. determined. Very good job. Reactions for Elizabeth, people. Reactions there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, Elizabeth. Very good, job. very good job. Thanks. It is. Pero con quién me la desquito? No, it is. Raise your hand. <laughs> It is Korea. Okay. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening, all. Good My evening. name is Iris. I, I did you like uh, the model, the first class, and the presentation, the question. Uh, for example, my favorite color, uh, my favorite animal, uh, my favorite food, etc to uh, speak different uh, transportation on the bus, on the train, uh, motorcycle, etc. To uh, family members, uh, for example, in my family, in my brother and my mother, uh, is that I uh, to learn uh, the new vocabulary Mm, for example, uh, cousin, nephew, uh, father-in-law. Uh, the the most difficult part uh, in the pronunciation, the <laughs> difficult for me. Uh, e, thank you, teacher. E, thank you, everyone. 
Thank you, Edis, for your presentation. Very good job. Good job, Edis. Good bravo, job. bravo. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I remember it is in the first day, right? It was like all silent there. It's like, no, entre menos me pregunte mejor, aquí estoy. But now when I listen to you presenting, I feel very proud because I know you are going to continue working, okay? Yo creo que aquí los he enfrentado todos a sus miedos y que ahí los van rompiendo todos. Todos sus estereotipos así de, no, no, eso no me gusta. But it, it is nice that you are facing the challenge and you are doing it. Fantastic it is. I have a, a, some pronunciation issues that we need to work. For example, favorite, favorite, and different, different, okay? Those are the ones that I got that, are, that they need more attention. For the rest, it was very good. Thank you very much for presenting. Good, who's the next one? Hands up or finger cratic. O levanta la manita o lo escogemos entre todos. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Arvin, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Hi. I made a presentation. Very good. Share it. Let me let me give you permission. There you go. And there you go. Okay. So uh, you can share it. You can share it here. Puedes compartir tu pantalla. Ah, uh, pero I'm in the cell phone, not. Okay, just give me one second then. I am going to, to see if I can open it. Okay, so I am going to see if I can share it here. Okay, I think I think we can see it, right? I think we can see it. Mr. Arbing, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. What did you like? I like the participation of the group and the personality of the teacher. It's really moderate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did you learn? I learned grammatic and pronunciation. What, what was the most difficult part for me the adverbs which and how is the most difficult uh, what is your expectation for the next model model keep learning until i can speak english very good job very good job mr uh, arvin i really appreciate that <laughs> good job <laughs> arvin <laughs> There you go. So good job, Arvin. Good job, Arvin. Very nice and very creative. I really like it. It was very beautiful, right? Very nice. So to keep learning. Thank you. I, I think that it is very easy to be a good teacher when you have excellent students, right? It is so nice and fantastic to be a good teacher when you have fantastic students. So you make this a little bit uh, easier and more enjoyable, definitely. Thank you very much, Arvin, for your presentation. Very good job. You're Let welcome. me see. We are going to go with whom? Who's next? Who's next? Din, din, din. We are going to call Rosario. Go ahead. The sooner the better, you say. There you go. <laughs> Go Rosario. Go Rosario, you can do it. Yay! Rosario. 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 Go ahead, go ahead. Aquí le echamos porra, hombre. Vamos, vamos. Bueno, he hecho un poquito porque no hay más que, que poner en lo que en lo que voy a decir ahorita solo good evening teacher Hi. Uh, my name is rosario i like your dynamics i like every night in the class but what i like the most was when you talk about the sky of what you like and as when you I would try for 
example is the size cook, a secretary, larger, and teacher. What was difficult for me learn with the negative sentence? Thank you very much. Every day in Saint you be have teacher Nati. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rosario. I know it has been difficult. Oh, Rosario. Yay! Rosario. Good. That was good. That was excellent. You know, every single step that we give forward, it's helping you. Paso, pasito, pasos chiquitos. A veces, yo siempre le digo que el enemigo de uno está aquí arriba. El, no podés, no te va a salir. Mm, no, no, deja eso. De aquí te estoy dando esta. Una, vez que, una vez que lo vencemos, vamos a seguir avanzando. Hasta, hasta, sud hasta sudando el lado estoy ahorita. Porque todo lo, todo lo hice ahora en la tarde a las seis y cuarto que vine aquí a la casa, lo vine a hacer. Porque no hallaba que, que poner, eh, no hallaba ni que escribir hasta ahora en la tarde. Me puse en la mañana a quererlo hacer, no pude. Me estuvo fallando la máquina donde estoy trabajando. Oh, my God. No, dije, mejor lo voy a hacer cuando llegue a la casa. Voy a estar un poquito más tranquila. Y me puse a hacerlo hoy en la tarde. Lo que pude hacer y decir no, en inglés. No, that's good. Well, we can, we can also improve it. If you want, you can share it with me. Si igual, si lo quieres seguir practicando, envíeme lo que escribió. Lo revisamos. Igual podemos hacerlo para que esté el mejor y aún lo podemos volver a mandar al grupo ya con mejor okay. pronunciación. Es solo que ahorita, ahorita el WhatsApp se me desinstaló y no me, da, y no me da permiso el, el teléfono, me sale no, que es error. You can do it tomorrow, ok? Mañana, otro día de estos días, don't worry. Okay. Uh -huh. mañana, se lo, mañana se lo voy a mandar okay. yo no lo voy a borrar de whatsapp hoy en la noche, no tengan pena decir, elimina, elimina, elimina no. ah, solo, solo que me manda bueno y me manda su número porque todo se me borró del ah, okay. whatsapp porque no sé, ni sé, no sé si voy a poder instalarlo okay. porque hice la travesura de tener otro whatsapp de, lo instalé de google y hoy que quise instalar el propio de play store no me dejó Ok, if not, it is on the email. Y si no, igual en el correo está el enlace para que me pueda oh, volver a agregar. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Ah, ir, ah, ir se lo voy a pedir. Thank you very much. Ok, Rosario, thank you very thank much. You, teacher. Great job. Thank you. Let's go with Maritza. Maritza, Maritza, Maritza. Where are you? Maritza. Go, Maritza, go. Maritza. Go, Maritza. Come on, Maritza, come on. Maritza. Se puede. Yep. You can do it, Maritza. Okay, if not, we're going to call Mr. Let's see, Omar. Let's Mr. go, Omar. Mr. Omar, go ahead. Vamos, representa a los hombres. <laughs> go, Omar, go ahead. Good night, everyone. Hello. Go ahead, Omar. Um, okay. My goals in this program are to be able to complete all the levels with the ranges amount of key knowledge adhered and in this way obtain more and better opportunities. Camara. <laughs> Where are you, Omar? We want to see you. <laughs> Camara. Todos, todos aquí quieren ver a Omar. <laughs> okay, sí, so. Camara, eso es una gran trampa. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Okay, so Mr. Omar, you want to achieve, you want to achieve your goals and get better opportunities. Omar, what was your favorite topic? My favorite topic. Camara. <laughs> Apoyo a Maxima. Camara. 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 Okay. Camara. No, ver a Omar. Okay. Oh, what was your favorite Camara? topic, Omar? Uh, 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 adverbios de frecuencia. Adverbs of frequency. Good. He, he has problems with the camera, he says. Okay. The adverbs of frequency. What was the most difficult part? 
Bueno, en realidad, este, pues, uh, bueno, la verdad es que sinceramente yo no, no completé todo lo, todo, todo, todo este, lo requerido por, por, el, por la plataforma, ¿verdad? Um, he tenido bastantes problemas para, para la hora de, de, de completar más que todo quizás este, los ejercicios dentro de la plataforma. Uh -huh. um, y sí, quizás este, en general, quizás este, eh, se me ha dificultado bastante a la hora de tener que formar en sí lo que son ya las oraciones. Ok, Omar, so, but you have the time still, todavía tiene chance de terminarlo, todavía puede ir a los ejercicios, ver a la plataforma, todavía revisar un poco más y sabe que aquí estamos todos para apoyarle, ok? Si sí, de repente se le traba un ejercicio, mándanos un screen ahí al grupo y digan, hey, se me ha trabado esto, no puedo hacer esto, no puedo hacer esto otro y con gusto le apoyamos. Ok, aquí estamos para Pero crecer juntos. Yes, Omar, we help you. We will help you, ok. Don't worry because we are here to help you. Así que Omar, pongámonos las pilas, vámonos ahorita a la plataforma a trabajar y eh, cualquier cosa nos avisa y estamos pendientes para ayudarle, ok. Todavía se puede, no me diga, no, no pude, no alcancé. Todavía lo logramos. Maritza viene en camino, dice por ahí. Que okay, viene corriendo para la casa. Ya, ya me escribió. Okay. Who's missing? Who am I missing? Tirsa, welcome. Okay, yeah, I think Tirsa. We're missing Tirsa. Go ahead. There you go. And here we go. Tirsa, es tu momento. Me acabo de conectar. No sé qué es lo que estoy haciendo. Te voy a decir mal de salud. Ah, oh, we are in the presentations. We are working in the presentations. Uy, my goodness, you are sick, Tirsa. Uh -huh. Ok. So, Presenta. The what? <laughs> yes, we are in the presentations. We have a couple of questions, ok? Les estoy haciendo unas preguntas para que ustedes me cuenten qué fue lo que más les gustó, qué fue lo que más les costó y qué es lo que quieren hacer en the next module, ¿ok? So, Tirsa, just in general, what was your favorite part of the module? Eh, lo que más me gustó. Yes. Quizás la dinámica con la que usted da. Uy, permítame. Okay, that's new. That's new for me. Okay. <laughs> Juan is laughing. Uh -huh. no, la dinámica, teacher, con la que usted da la clase. Y lo que más me costó, este, que como ya vamos este, avanzando, ¿verdad? En el nivel, o sea, este, hay que hablar más inglés y entonces yes. es lo que más... <laughs> Lo que más me yes. La uh, okay, so as your personal translator, you are going to tell me my favorite part was the dynamic of the class. Go, Tirsa. My favorite part was the dynamic of the class. Repitamos, Tirsa. My favorite part was the dynamic of the class. My favorite class. Okay. My, my favorite, favorite part my favorite part was the dynamic of the class was the dynamic of the class and the most difficult and the most difficult was to speak in english was to speak in english <laughs> <laughs> thank you tirsa thank you so for the next module for the next module i want you to practice a lot i want you to practice i want you to be responsible and i want you to be in classes all the days every single day okay thank you tirsa thank you for participating in the class okay maritza is arriving home so we're going to we're going to listen to her in a second Who is missing? ¿Se me queda alguien? Diga yo. Juan. Mr. Juan. Juan Hernández. Go ahead. Yes, Juan. Juan Hernández. Go ahead. Hey, pero on the camera, Juan. There you go. Never I see you. 
they have never seen you. Bájele puntos. I will. Ni en el módulo anterior. But I think we have seen we have seen Omar only one time. And we have seen Juan only one time too. Okay, Juan, <laughs> go ahead. It's your moment. Okay. Uh, mm, well, video, video. In my personal opinion, I consider that that we learn a lot of things, Camara. right? Uh, okay, give me a second. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. There you go. One, one, one. Okay, in personal opinion, <laughs> I consider that we learn. Hello, bro. Wait, wait. There you go. Continue, continue. <laughs> Ya no te vamos a quitar el ancho de banda, va. Nos vamos a callar todos. Ok. <ríe> es que... Es que me miró doble. <ríe> no, Juan, don't worry. Don't worry, Juan. Don't cry. Ok. I, I consider that, that we learn a lot of things, right? Such as simple present, how we can uh, form uh some sentences using can and can't and i consider that that the teacher get the knowledge right because she's very dynamic and she always uh when we don't pronounce uh, some words correctly she gave us tips right and i consider that that's important right um uh, let me see another question it is what i learned is a uh, simple present, uh, the name of some fruits, because uh, to be honest, uh, I know uh, some topics, but not all, right? And what was the most difficult part? Uh, sometimes maybe the pronunciation, because some words maybe could be the same, right? And what might expectation from the next model uh well i consider that that we have to to speak more english because it is the 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 little space that we have and we can practice here because uh because sometimes we speak spanish and in my case i consider that that it is not correctly right i would like that that we speak english uh more than we practice and thank you. Excellent job, Mr. Juan. Very, very buena, excellent job. Juan, buena. Yay! Good, it was good. fantastic. Very good. Nice pronunciation. <laughs> it was fantastic. Excellent, <laughs> excellent job, Mr. Juan. And uh, we're going to go with Maritza. Thank you, Juan. Very good job. Maritza. Teacher. Hi. Um, me cuesta un poco la pronunciación en inglés. Don't worry. Try. Do your best in Amara. English. Go ahead. <laughs> video. Video. Amara. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we need to put the camera because I need to see. My name is Marixa. And you watch and like the most. No sé si me va a entender, teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't worry. Usted Bye. presente. Dele. My name is Marixa. And what? He likes the most in how her is a teacher. And what cost me the most well, the most wash. Uh, lo que me costó más fue ordenar las oraciones. No sé cómo es que se pronuncia. Organize, organize the sentences. The sentences. Y Javi, to practice the pronunciation in English. Okay, uh, what do you want to do in the next module? What do you want to improve? Listening, speaking, reading, writing? Improve? Speaking. Okay, you want to improve speaking, right? So, the only way that we're going to improve speaking is by talking. That's the only way that we can improve speaking, right? The only way, for example, if you want to know how to swim, you have to go to the water, right? If you want to know how to dance, you have to go to the dance floor, right? And if you want to improve your speaking in English, you need to speak 
in English. That's the only way. Well, Maritza, thank you very much for your presentation. A few sentences, a few words, but it's good that you are practicing, okay? Very nice job. Okay, so I think now I am not missing anybody. I am not missing any student. So I am going to give my part. What did I like the most about the module? It was the students, right? The students and the sharing that we had here, right? That all of you are responsible, that you connect on time, that you participate, that you do the crazy things that I do in class. That's what I really like. What was the most difficult? Nothing, because you are a very excellent group of students, right? The funny sounds, that was sometimes difficult, right? The funny, the funny things on the <laughs> different houses. It was, it was cool, right? All the people who went to buy pupusas, right? Those were the funny parts. What are my expectations for you in the next module? That you continue learning, that you continue improving, that you continue doing your best, okay? So I really want to see you in the next parts of English Corporativo. It, it is fantastic when I have, for example, intermediate, and I see the groups again, and it's like, yay, my students again. So I really want to see you working, continue learning, okay? Learning is something that it's going to be with you forever. I always say that. Education is going to be with you forever. No one is going to keep to take it out from you. Okay, so continue learning. La educación es algo que nadie le va a quitar. Because it's the one thing that it's for you and only for you. Not because of others. No porque digan, ah, pues inglés, mira, eh. No, because you want to continue improving in your life. Okay? English is going to help you in many things. It is the language of international communication, right? It is spoken in 53 countries for more than 400 million people. So you are part of the 400 million people now, right? You are part of this one. In, according to the British Council by 2020, two years ago, 2 million people in the world will be studying English and you were part of this a study. So it is highly likely that if you meet someone from another country, you will both be able to speak English. <laughs> and that is the best, the best thing that we have for this language, right? It gives you access to more entertainment and more access to the internet. If you know English, you can enjoy more books, more movies, more series in English. Right, because now you understand and you are like, ah, this is new, right? And you are getting vocabulary. English is currently the language of the internet. An estimated of 565 million people use the internet every day and 52% of the most visited websites are in English, okay? So learning English is going to give you access to over half of the content of the internet. So continue learning English because it's important. It is, it makes easier to travel, right? Or when you meet people here from other countries, it is very fantastic. When you listen to a person speaking in English on the street and you start talking and even with basic conversations, it feels nice. As highlighted before, English is spoken as the first language in 53 countries, right? And it makes it easier to travel anywhere. Indeed, airport announcements, train timetables, emergency information, the signs on the street in other countries are in English, right? And in some cases, uh, it goes without saying that when traveling to a country, when you don't speak Spanish, you are practically guaranteed to find someone who starts speaking in English. If you travel to another country, that doesn't speak English, for example, but you are more than sure that you are going to find a person who does it, right? Es muy común y muy probable que aunque ande por allá por Egipto, Arabia o no sé en qué otro país, siempre va a haber alguien que habla inglés. And you are going to survive, okay? So this is the importance of English. It makes you smarter. It makes you smarter. 
Learning a foreign language enhances your cognitive and analytical abilities. Learning a language can be difficult and involves a lot of exercise, but learning changes the brain structure, impacting the parts of the brain responsible for the memory, conscious thought, and it can make you more creative. In the long term, bilingualism can keep the brain strong and healthy into the old age and supports concentration and memory. On an individual level, it improves personality and, increase, and increases the sense of self-worth. Self In simple words, learning a foreign language makes the brain stronger and more versatile. So when you start learning a new language, other parts of the brain that you were not using start working, okay? Ahí se activan todas esas partes del cerebro que no se estaban usando. When you start learning a new language, because you are getting more vocabulary, more things, more sounds, more pronunciation, and every single thing. So I want to uh, take these final nine minutes of the class to talk about some tips to continue learning. But first, I want to listen to you. What do you do to practice your English? ¿Qué hacen para practicar su inglés? What do you do to practice your English? Don't tell me I exist. No, because that's not a way to practice. What do you do to practice your English? Do you listen to music? Do you watch videos? Do you read? Do you speak with someone? What do you do to practice your English? Listen to music, teacher. You listen to music. Good. What else? I listen to music. Uh -huh. You listen to music, but in English, right? Yes. No, Romeo Santos, baby. <laughs> no, I don't oh. like it. <laughs> okay, oh. good. In English, good. Maximo, what do you do to practice your English? Read a paragraph. You read paragraphs. That's good. What else? Juan, how do you practice your English? Mm, sometimes uh, I listen to music, but all oh, music because the pronunciation is kind of different. Uh -huh. I watch movies uh, and practice with my friends. Very good. Elizabeth, how do you practice your English? Uh, uh, sometimes uh, listen to music. Um, I watch uh, videos in Instagram. Okay. Um, um, sometimes, uh, cualquier cosa que veo que esté en inglés, trato de como, a veces hasta cierro los ojos para tratar de entender la palabra, porque generalmente en inglés las palabras son muy, pero muy similares, entonces a veces uno se queda confundida. Uh, hace poco eh, puse un video con los eh, subtítulos y yo iba leyendo y me quedé, eh, no era la palabra que yo pensaba que era. Entonces, eso hago a veces. Ok, to read, uh, this, well, to work uh, with videos in Instagram, to practice and to also to analyze and translate. That was very good. Let me see. Arvin, what do you do to practice your English? Uh, listen to um, English music. Listen to English and, music, good. And I try not not change the audio at the movies. Very good. Don't change the audio at the movies. Keep it in English. In some yeah. cases, you can put the subtitles in English and the movie in Spanish right at the beginning, and then English English for you to for you to analyze your 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 improvement, and also the new vocabulary. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mr. Omar, what do you do to practice your English? Good tip. If you are going to listen to music in English and to sing in English, get the lyrics and practice with the lyrics. I am going to give you some tips right now. I have here a couple of tips that are going to help you a lot in the English language, right? The first tip that I can give you is to set a goal, 
Okay, set a goal. Pónganse una meta, right? Set a goal. When you want to learn, how much do you want to learn? Set a goal, 15 minutes every day, 10 minutes every day, right? You have to find a routine. Find a routine. Every morning when you are showering, watch a video, right? After you shower, watch a video about English, about grammar, about something specific in English, right? When you are eating or preparing for work, watch a video, but find a routine on how to practice. You say like, okay, hoy voy a leer 15 minutos todas las mañanas mientras, no sé, eh, me preparo para irme por el trabajo. O en el trabajo, si tiene un break, en esos 15, 10 minutos del break, voy a leer algo en inglés. Voy a ver un video de gramática. So, but find a goal and set a routine. It is very important if you want to learn, make mistakes. Make mistakes on pronunciation, on audios, on anything. Make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you are going to improve for sure. Later on, you're going to say, ah, yeah, that was the problem, right? But that is going to come if you practice a lot, right? If you practice your English, for sure, you are going to make mistakes and you are going to learn new things. My recommendation, investigate phrases, not only vocabulary, no solo palabritas así solas. Investigate phrases on how do you use the word in a paragraph. Y esto cómo se usa en un párrafo. Cómo se usa esto en un escrito. Right? Learn phrases. And that is going to help you to practice vocabulary because the more vocabulary that you get, the more you are going to have at the moment of speaking, right? You are not going to be speaking only the same things. Something very useful that I recommend my students to do is to record yourself. How, teacher? Haga un grupo en WhatsApp con usted mismo. Ponga ahí a su esposa y de ahí la elimina. Y se quede en el grupo usted mismo. And then create voice notes. Grave, notas de voz de lo que hizo en el día. Today, it was a very nice day. I went to work and I did this and this, and it was very difficult because of this and that. And then <laughs> you can cry a little bit and then you continue. I mean, recording, but then listen to the audio. Okay, in English for sure, but no me van a andar grabando las notas de voz. Día uno, bitácora de mi vida. No, in English, you have to do it in English. And then listen to yourself, listen to your audio. And then you will say, no, but I remember teacher Nati said that is not favorite, it's favorite or this. And you are going to correct yourself, right? Record yourself. And it is going to help you. If you can find a partner, si encuentra una pareja ahí que le quiera decir, hey, enviamos notas de voz todos los días para practicar. That would be more than perfect. If it is more than three people, fantastic. So you can work together and practice. Read new words and phrases. If you investigate, there are a lot of videos in YouTube about English. There are a lot of books on the internet. There are a lot of articles. Read new words and phrases. And if you don't like that, read about the things that you like in English. If you like anime, look for information of anime in English. If you like movies, read about the movies in English, right? If you like cartoons, if you like, I don't know, cars, motorcycles, if you like cell phones or technology, read about these things in English, okay? Message people in English. If you talk with your friends from the group in WhatsApp, do it in English, okay? In English. Watch movies with subtitles in English, right? It can seem old fashioned. Se puede ver como old fashioned y todo, pero use a dictionary. Use a dictionary because that is going to help you a lot for you to get new words, for you to investigate. I am going to send you that uh, one here on the chat. That's called word reference. That is a very good dictionary that you can use online. And also investigate pronunciation in YouTube. How do you pronounce this one? And it's going to give you the pronunciation. And because in some cases we say, ay, que no sé cómo se dice. 
go and look for the pronunciation on YouTube. There are pages on which you can check it. One in YouTube, how do you pronounce? Y pone la palabra en inglés, and then you get a lot of videos about how to pronounce the different words, okay? So these are the tips that I can give you for you to continue improving. And I don't have anything else to tell you than keep doing the great job that you do. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Thanks for sharing your nights with me. And it has been a great pleasure to serve you and to be your teacher. So my dear students, I am not going to see you tomorrow because you have like kind of vacation, right? Because it's Friday, but I am going to see you in the next modules, I know. Have a great night. Thank you for everything. And it was a pleasure. Ahí les quedo a la, a la orden por cualquier cosa, okay? Thank you very okay, much. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Have a beautiful night. Thank Good you very night. much. Bye bye. Bye, my dear students. Se porta bye. bien. Okay, <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. bye bye. Thank you. Ay, lo voy a ir a buscar a ver quién tiene el siguiente módulo. ¿Cómo se portan? Ah, sí. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.